Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. This is episode two, playing as the German Empire and Rule the Waves, starting in 1900. And uh, if you did not see the first episode, which I did about a week ago, you can click on a link in the description below that'll take you back to episode one. You can get yourself caught up. We are only about a year or so into the game so far. It's January of 1901, and we're trying to ramp up the tension with the uh, Russians. Uh, I feel like Russia is probably a safe first target for me just to get my feet wet, try out some of my ships, build up some experience. I've got an alliance with the United States. The one thing I would definitely want to avoid at all costs is war with Britain, who just has this massive naval budget that I can't possibly compete with. Um, I do have uh, one ship name request already in for one of my patrons through Patreon. That is uh, for Jean Bart. And he would like me to name a battle cruiser, uh, Rin uh, Tosaka. So we're going to name that just as soon as I'm able to get a battle cruiser built. Now, historically, the Germans did not have their first battle cruiser, I believe, until 1907. But we're going to try to build one a little sooner than that. Uh, if you are one of the patrons at, I believe it's 5 or $10 on up per month, you are eligible to request a name for a ship. I uh, will have sent, by the time this video goes live, you should have all received a message from me through Patreon requesting your ship name, uh, if you are so inclined to do so. And if you haven't, uh, click on the link in the description. That'll take you over to Patre Patreon. You can do that there. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're into January of 1901. Uh, we have a number of ships in service. We have uh, three, our first three light cruisers under construction. They'll all be done within the year. Uh, just looking at the Almanac, uh, kind of keeping an eye on Russia. He's only got one battleship in service, but he's got three in process of being built. He's got more cruisers, uh, heavy cruisers than me. I uh, will be equal on light cruisers once mine are completed. I've definitely got them in destroyers. So uh, the sooner I can go to war with him, the better before he gets those battleships into service. But for now, we're going to go ahead and take the turn. The British gov government is offering to sell us the rights to torpedo technology for twenty three fifty. Honestly, I don't have a lot of money. And right now, I'm not worried about torpedoes. So I'm just going to say no to that. It uh, looks like mostly some destroyers. The British have laid down a new battleship. Um, pre-dreadnought intelligence report on Russia. They have uh, invented coincidence range, find, range finder. Not a big deal. We'll continue going here. Our new docks are completed. So we should be able to build a bigger ship now. Uh, France building some coastal batteries. That's something I need to think about, I guess. I mean, I think for now I'm probably okay on my overseas ports. I've got a few of those. Um, down here in Africa, we've got some. We've got several over here in the Pacific. Right now, I'm friends with the United States, and the U.S. has got a presence over there, so I'm not going to worry too much about building up my fortifications there. Uh, same with Africa. Uh, honestly, my, my overseas possessions are not a huge deal to me now. Some of you who are more experienced in this game may tell me why I'm wrong about not being concerned about that. Maybe down the road I do want to be. Uh, we don't have a huge base capacity in most of those places, so we're not going to be sending a lot of ships to any of those places right now. And we don't have a lot of coastal fortifications. In fact, we don't have any anywhere but here in Germany. So uh, let's take a look at East Prussia right now because I feel like that might be the first target for the Russians. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a nice big 11-inch coastal battery going there which will obviously take a while and be expensive to build. And unfortunately, that means I can't do a lot else with ships at the moment. The Kaiser wants to hold an international naval gathering with sailing regatta and competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions, but the money to finance the event will be taken out of the naval budget. Huh. Okay, so saying it's not a good time for this event does what? It's not really telling me. Usually, if you hover over it, it there we go. Uh, boost the prestige, but a reduction in tension. Um, yeah, let's not do that. Baffled with active mine warfare, not a huge deal. Russia has halted construction of a battleship due to financial difficulties. Excellent news, excellent news. Uh, we're not doing too bad financially. I can build up to a 17,000 now, but um, I just don't have the money at the moment. Let's look at our ships under construction. Uh, we've still got five months. We've got a lot of money sunk into these light cruisers. So once those are done, we'll be able to get our battle cruiser going. 
An uprising in China makes it necessary to send an expeditionary force. What is your recommendation? Prestige and tension will build there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So now what am I going to have to send is the problem. Japanese scientists have invented Krupp armor. Russia has commissioned a battleship. I thought they couldn't build one. I guess maybe financially they're in better shape now. All right, we're starting to get Russia's tension up there. Let's go ahead and drop things with Italy and Britain. We don't want that to go up as fast as Russia's going at the moment. Okay, another turn. Italy's laying down a bunch. Russia, they've invented destroyers up to 600 tons of displacement. I've got three more months on these light cruisers. Let's check out our almanac, see the situation now. I'm still bringing in more money than Russia is. Uh, they've got two battleships in service now, two more on the way. Uh, more cr heavy cruisers, but not building more, will be equal still on light cruisers. And then way ahead on destroyers. So uh, I, I should be fine. Assuming that that's all I fight is Russia. Um, research. We Hopefully we got to start getting some better research going. Kaiser returned from a state visit to Great Britain, bringing home a proposal to solve outstanding sources of tension between our nations. We can never trust Great Britain. Uh, we should take this opportunity. Oh, boy. So I can get my budget and tension up. Hopefully it doesn't go to the spot of war, though. Uh, I don't think it'll go that high. Well on their way to understanding Lydite bursting charges. That's good news. Russia commissioned another battleship, the Tsarevich. All right, so that tension didn't go up dramatically, but now we're on the plus side in monthly balance. Two more months, we get our first light cruisers completed. A spy from Italy has been discovered. Yes, give it maximum publicity. We're doing everything we can to ramp up our budget right now. Advances in torpedo technology, excellent. Lydite bursting charges, also very good. Russia is building a 12-inch coastal battery. They've invented heavy secondary batteries. So right now we're still just not getting enough really good options to ramp up the tensions with the Russians. I want to look at research for just a second. Yeah, we're not making a lot of progress, but it is also only August of, 2000, of 1901. So we're probably close enough that we can go ahead and get our battle cruiser going. So we'll get the basics. All right, so it's going to be a 16,800 displacement. We're obviously going to change the name. It's going to be Rin Tosaka. I want to make sure I get the spelling right on that. We'll make it the Rin Tosaka class. Actually, no, we'll, uh, we'll keep that class. Um, it's not going to give me the option. Oh, I, I can name it at the end. That's right. So we'll keep the German class name, but then we'll just name that individual ship. All right, this thing's got 24 speed. That's pretty good. The 11-inch main guns, I don't know that we can go any higher than that. Looking at the armor penetration table here at 10,000 yards, uh, five and a half on the belt and not quite one on the deck. So that's kind of where we want to be. Uh, the maximum range is 10,500 yards. Uh, we're actually at seven and a half on belt. That's good because a lot of my enemies are going to have bigger guns anyway. Uh, so I'm pretty content with that. I don't think I'll make any major changes to it. If anything, we maybe add a little bit of ammunition and a tiny bit of weight. We can go right up to 17,000. So we can get some more rounds per gun going on that. All right, I think we'll go with that. Let's check it out. I must have researched two levels of ship design before battle cruisers can be built. Okay, I wondered, you know, because battle cruisers, at least for the Germans, didn't come about till 1907. So, uh, Jean, we will wait on that until we are able to properly build a battle cruiser. But as soon as I can, I will definitely get your ship going. All right, we've got our first two light cruisers commissioned. Russia's laying down some more destroyers. That's not a huge deal. So now that we've got some monthly balance freed up, we can look at some other options here. I want to double check. My research is at 12%, so we're good there. Man, I really want to get some bigger guns available. We're just not there yet. I think I'm pretty content with everything else is at the moment. 
Uh, I'm going to hold off and go ahead and build my funds up just a little bit while we wait for some more technology before we get some more ships going. But I do need to keep an eye out on what's going on elsewhere. Rebellion in the British possession of Trinidad. U.S. government is offering to sell us the right to light forces in torpedo warfare for destroyers up to 600 tons. Uh, displacement for 1750. Hey, why not? That's a reasonable amount for technology because the Russians already have those destroyers up to 600 tons, so I guess we should get some too. Oh, we've also researched double bottom, so that's cool. But I've got a ton of destroyers already, so I don't think I want to build any new ones. Maybe let's take a look and see what it would take to uh, make some changes to those existing ones. Where are they at? Take a look at a few of these destroyers. Open design for rebuild. We can't go up on the displacement, obviously. That makes sense. We can't do that. Additional armament. Yeah, I guess there's probably not a lot of reason to rebuild any of those. The gazelle is into the Navy. Tension between our ally USA and Great Britain is rising. Oh boy. I really don't want to go to war with them. What should our reaction be? Write them a blank check. Tension, prestige, and budget all go up. Hold an international conference. We cannot so well, we've got to support our ally. I, I want that alliance with the US. I just didn't think it would mean war with the British. Ship design, medium wing turrets. Wing double turrets up to 10 inches in caliber. That's nice. Oh, the British. Oh, boy, we are close to war with Britain. Not a fan of that at all. Let's take a look at the Almanac. I mean, combined, the U.S. and Germany, we've got Britain out budgeted. But the U.S. has zero battleships in service. They've got a ton of light cruisers and some armored cruisers. But uh, combined, my... Forces. Ah, I've got more battleships than him, even with the ones that he's got currently being worked on. So maybe we'll be okay. It's those light cruisers that he's got a lot more of than I do. So, all right, you know what? Maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we slow things down against the Russians and we go to war with the British. That said, uh, boy. All right, let's start working on another dreadnought. 15,500. I don't know. Um, Still only 11-inch guns. There's really not a lot of change from the previous ones. You know what? I think I'll hold off a little while. Got our light cruisers finished. They're working up. New cruiser from the USA has arrived on a goodwill visit, and the press eagerly reporting all of its advanced features. A reporter approaches you for comment. Uh, it's nice, but ours are just as good. Ah, uh, that'll hurt my prestige, but help my budget? Sure, why not? Great Britain building an 11-inch coastal battery in northern Europe. I should have my batteries pretty close to being done. I have no ships currently under construction. That's obviously an issue. Uh, what do we got here? We've got six batteries already there, so I guess we probably don't need any new ones. But you know what? Just because we're facing the possibility of war with Britain, let's go ahead and get an 11-inch coastal battery going there in Germany. We'll go one more turn. Rebellion in Trinidad continues. Finish the 11-inch coastal battery in East Prussia. Yeah, we'll ramp things up with Japan. Why not? Britain's laid down another dreadnought battleship. They've increased their naval budget. Let's take a look and see where that's at now. 184,000, my goodness. Uh, the U.S. is 100,000 now. So Italy's still kind of the low... Uh, no, Japan's the low man on the totem pole at the moment. No battleships. Britain's got three in the field, three more on the way. They're going to have a total of 79,000 when it's all said and done. That is not a good thing. Let's go ahead and build one more of our Wittelsbach class. Oh, that's only 13,000 tons. I do want to go ahead and design a new one. Oh, no, that's not good either. Let's go a little bigger with this. Let me play around with it a little bit. 
All right, so here's what we're going to go with. Uh, 17,000 on displacement. We're going to go 18 for the speed. Uh, 5 inch belt extended, 12 inch belt. So it's a little thicker than any of my other ships just because I know the enemy's got some bigger guns than I do. Uh, 2 inches on the deck. Uh, we've got normal accommodations. We've got 11 inch guns, uh, 2 in the front, 2 in the back. 18 7 inch guns uh, for the secondary. And I feel like that should be pretty good. Um, we've got this little issue with the secondary guns, but not a huge deal. It's going to take 4,000 and three months to get that design completed. Gazelle's finished her working up. Reliable bursting charges. 10 inch guns research. Great. I don't need those. I need the 12 inches. We'll get there. I imagine we're just one event away from triggering this war with the British. Nationalist Party manages to persuade the Kaiser to authorize increased funding for the Navy. Excellent. We should ship some arms to the rebels in the British possession of Trinidad. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's ramp it up. Let's get to war here. Uh, <laughs> I know that's what you guys want to see, so I can't guarantee it's going to go well. Britain has sent him an ultimatum. Unless we back down, there will likely be war. What course of action do you recommend? If they want to fight, we are ready for them. Bring it on. War has broken out between Germany and Great Britain, February 1902. And right away, we've got a cruiser action teed up for us. Yee, two of his battleships and 22 destroyers for me. I, I, I feel inclined to let him have those victory points. Without my battleships, I'm, mm, I don't like giving away these victory points right off the bat, but uh, what else am I going to do? I've got, all right, first things first, we've got to mobilize everybody. That was the problem why I didn't have my battleships. Uh, do we have training going? I believe we have training going. Yeah, gunnery training. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, okay. So mostly everybody's in Northern Europe. That's where we want them to be. We're waiting on this design for these new ships. Let's go ahead and save the game. Oh, we need trade protection duty. So we're just going to use some of our massive amounts of destroyers to do that. And then let's, let's put a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. Now, you know what? Two light cruisers as raiders. Great Britain has crushed the rebels in Trinidad. So the whole reason we went to war is over with now. All right. So he sank two of my ships. That's not a huge amount of victory points. I'm not too worried about that. Here we go. Five battleships, two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, 22 destroyers. Estimated enemy forces, eight light cruisers. Right off the coast of Great Britain. Coastal raid. One destroyer unable to take part. That's okay. Not a big deal. Here comes our first battle. Now, I will say up front, uh, just as I am a noob in this game in general, I'm still learning a lot about how this combat works. It seems to me my understanding is that you only really kind of control your main, um, your main force and the others you don't. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. Um, so if I'm wrong about that, let me know. This is going to be a great opportunity for you guys to let me know what I'm not doing well and what I need to learn uh, about combat. So uh, for now, I guess we're just going to be searching for these guys. Do we have an objective? Yeah, sink any two ships. Okay. So let's go ahead and we've got a light. Oh, so we don't even have our battleships or our heavy cruisers in this action. We've got one light cruiser and three destroyers. And that kind of stinks. Hopefully we don't run into any of his big ships. All right, so I guess we're just going to start searching. Until we find somebody. Get the fastest speed going here. Well, that was rather anticlimactic. We never spotted anybody, so... Uh, never got to take any action there. That's obviously a minor victory for the British, because they avoided all his ships were way off here. I was searching in this area outside of Plymouth. That uh, would explain why I couldn't find them. Okay. Well, we'll continue on. Some minor points for him, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get our new battleships going. 
We're going to build two of those bad boys to start. Britain laying down some new ships. USA is laying down some new ships. Oh, interesting. 90 victory points for blockade of the enemy. Oh, we got to send somebody down to Cameroon to deal with that. We did sink three British merchant ships, so that's cool. All right, here we go. Another chance to hopefully try and track. Oh, he declined the battle. Okay. We've got him in numbers as far as battleships go in the area. So I'm hoping that he's going to keep declining those battles until he gets his battleships into position, his new ones that are coming out. So let's take a look where we're at on that. He's got four in service now, but he's got so many overseas possessions, I would guess he's probably got some of them in other places. Now, the question, of course, is, is the U.S. actually helping me with this? But uh, right now, our naval budget's not all that different than Britain. I feel like I need some more light cruisers, though. So we're going to get a couple more of those going. I think we can go with three because... Um, the monthly costs will be offset by the amount of extra funds we've got at the moment. All right. Considering the dire war situation, the government is debating whether to seek peace. Oh, uh, come on. Your opinion on the strategic situation is sought. It's not dire. If he would just let me fight for a change. Here we go. We're going to get our big one, I think. This time it's a pretty big, uh, we've got two armored cruisers, a bunch of destroyers here, and a light cruiser. Still none of our battleships involved, but uh, we're going to see if we can find this guy and get ourselves an action going. I just want to see where things are. I would guess the closer we get to his port, the more likely we are to find somebody. Once again, he had all of his ships kind of right near the coast, and I couldn't find them. So we're going to have to just start looking much closer to the coast to find these guys, because he is hiding from me to no end. New Japanese ship. Not too worried about what Japan's got going on. Doesn't appear to be anything of concern. Operation of our allies add some victory points. All right, let's try this again. We're way up, uh, looks like, in the North Sea this time. Oh, he declined battle. That's got to keep getting things closer for us. Oh, this time off the coast of Ireland. We're going to find this guy this time. We've got to sink two transports. That's cool. And for the first time, our battleships are going to enter the fray, so this should be fun. Okay, wow, wow, wow. We hit the mother load, which may not be a good thing. We have found what has to be a good, significant part of the British fleet. There's a ton of transports, um, but three battleships. Rodney class, Niobe class, Andromeda class. And one of my heavy cruisers, my Victoria Louise, is caught right in the middle of all that. And uh, she's got to get the heck out of there because she is not going to stand up to those battleships. But we're going to rush our battleships over that way. Mainly our concern here is that we want to sink some destroyers or sink some transports. But uh, obviously we're... Yeah, I just feel like I can't stand up to this much of the British Navy at once, but let's see how Victoria Louise is holding up. 2% damage. She's targeting a light cruiser at the moment. I got to get her to target the transports. That's what I want her to be doing. I don't know if I even have control over her or not. I 
guess I don't. She's taking on that light cruiser. Oh, they just darn near co collided with each other. Looks like I hit a transport right here. Oh, we did sink at least one. Good. Here comes the big boys. Let me see the range. Here's our fire lines. Those battleships are what I'm worried about. I don't want to get too close to him. Just want to sink those transports and kind of avoid his battleships if at all possible. There we go. Now we got our battleships opening up on these transports. Fiddlesbach opening fire on his battleship. They're in range now. I don't know. If, I wish there was a way you could see kind of a list of all your ships. Maybe there is, and I just don't know what it is. Maybe somebody can help me with that. Just kind of see a list of... I mean, here's all the log entries so we can see what's happening. Uh, and we can see the hits that we've landed, which is mostly on these transports. Um, but I wish there was a way I could just see a list of all his ships and what kind of damage has happened to all of them. Maybe there is, but I think, as far as I know, the only thing you can really do is to hover over and see what you can do. Battleship hit. Objective complete. We sank two transports. Does that mean it's the end of the scenario? I would imagine not. Alright, we've got all his battleships kind of in range now. Caused some light damage to his Niobe class. Man, if I could take out a couple of his battleships, this would be huge. I don't know how mine are doing in comparison. No damage, no damage, no damage. Obviously this is the time in history when more often than not you missed when you fired. We've got an unidentified ship coming this way. Hopefully it's just a transport. Honestly, I completed my mission, so it's probably best that I go ahead and scurry out of here. But I feel like if I've got an advantage and I'm not taking any damage, maybe I just keep on going after him. But it looks like he's disengaged, so I guess we probably will too. Besides, I know there's a lot I have to learn from you guys about how this battle works and what I might be missing. So this is a great chance for me to emerge unscathed and still have you give me that feedback. Well, what have we spotted? Oh, we just caught up to another ship. Okay. Another transport. Oh, you're going down, dude. There's no chance you survive my battleship sailing by. Sailing, I know. Steaming by. Yeah, let's go after him. We'll just keep circling like piranhas. Come up nice and close. He's toast. Three battleships up close.
Why won't you die? Oh, he's going soon. Um, yes, we'll pick up the survivors. Oh, they're kind of far away. We'll just pick up the ones from this one right here. Not the others. Let the British take care of them. All right, I think we're going to call it a day on that battle. We've still got a long way to go, but unless I run into another transport, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, scenario over. Let's see how this went. Uh, he did have the battleships, obviously. Um, we caused light damage to two battleships, medium damage to a destroyer. We sunk a destroyer and four auxiliary ships. Uh, let's call that a minor victory for the British. <laughs> Okay, um, because oh, apparently you get points for picking up survivors. Gotcha. I guess those are prisoners, and I guess we could have caused a lot more damage than we did. So because most of his fleet survived. Uh, okay, so that's something I didn't understand about how all this all works. I thought, okay, I completed the mission. I'm good to go. But there were so many available ships that I let a lot of them escape, and therefore that's why. Uh, it's actually a minor victory for the British. So that's a lesson learned. And uh, those are the kinds of things that I have to kind of figure out along the way. So I'm just looking at the damage points here. All right, cool. You live, you learn. That's how it goes. We'll go a little bit further into this and then we'll... Pro oh, I didn't like all those victory points. And then we'll probably call this an episode because uh, I don't want it to get too crazy long. Let's take a look at where we're at on the Almanac now. So the British have three more battleships. Uh, once everybody's battleships are complete, we'll actually have the same amount. But his are probably better gun than mine. Uh, he's got better, more armored cruisers. Uh, he's still going to have me in light cruisers. We're about even on destroyers now. So he's definitely caught up to me in terms of Navy. We're going to have to do something about that. Where are we at on ships under construction? We've got a long time before any of these ships are completed, which means that my monthly balance is not going to improve. All right, we're just going to have to try and take out some of his ships. A spy from France. Yeah, we don't have a lot of tension with them, so we can go ahead the hard way. All right, here we go again. Enemy raid on coastal shipping this time. So he's going after my coastal shipping. So now we've got to protect against that. Another big, big force. Got all three battleships. Bunch of destroyers. Pretty much a good portion of my navy is around for this one. So this should be really interesting. This could be a major, major fight if we allow it to be. So we'll start kind of looking around and we'll we'll see what happens when we discover some of his ships. Okay, here we go. We've got a battleship, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, a destroyer right there. That's a that's a nice mix of ships that I could easily take on. Oh, we've got additional ones too. A couple of light cruisers, that's okay. Got a long way to get to him though. Hello. Who's firing? I don't know, but I guess it's just another spotting of his ships. Alright, we'll try to head this way, see if we can intercept him. Oh, he's taking on my merchants, that's why. Uh I'm so far away. Come on, guys. Let's get there. All right, we spotted something. Got a couple of unidentified ships down here in this area, so we're going to start heading toward them. I think we've got his navy spotted. Yep. Oh, we got three of his battleships at least.
Same ones we intercepted before. Oh yeah, this is a big portion of the British Navy here. Let's get in a little closer, see what we're looking at. Oh, these names are kind of getting in the way. I know I can change that. Light cruisers, battleships. We're almost in range. Rodney opens up. All right, let's slow things down here a little bit. All right, we're getting a little, a lot closer than we want to be. Let me scoot in and see where we're at here. We've got some of his light cruisers. These battleships are right here. I do not like how close we're getting. I'm not sure what is the best route to go with here. Oh, he's, he's heading away from me, actually. Obviously these destroyers are getting in close to try and fire torpedoes at me. Let's scoot out a little bit. Good, we're hitting some getting some hits on his destroyers. about these things anything they're going 15 knots doesn't appear to be any damage I've got 4% damage on my lead ship nothing on the other two we're at 6200 yards out it's a little closer than I'd like to be especially since he's probably got me outgunned in fact let's go ahead and Open up some distance. Now right, we're landing some hits on him now. feel like this is a fight I can win, just going side by side against him, because I know he's got bigger guns than I do. But at least I'm keeping him off my shipping. We've got a couple hits on the rod now. I'm gonna pause for a second, see where we're at. Light damage to the lead ship. Nothing anywhere else. Where are we at on ours? 4%. Ooh. Weissenberg's been torn up pretty bad. 25% damage. Ugh. Don't like that at all. Yeah, I don't feel like this is a fight I can win. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. It'd be nice if my other ships were somewhere in the region to want to try and help me. I feel like I can't do anything about those, though. All right, we got to get, get away from him now.
Wetton's at, uh, Vetton's at 6%. Weissenberg's still okay. 31% on the Vigil's block, though. Okay, here he comes. This is going to be a disaster for me, I'm afraid. Should have taken advantage when I was doing well in that last battle. Not sure I can get away from it. I'm gonna try to get down here after these light cruisers if I can. See where we're at. Medium damage to his lead battleship. Heavy damage to the Rodney. Okay, okay. But where are we at on mine? 8% on the Vittelsbach. Zero on the Weissenberg. The Vetten, 29%. Okay, okay. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. Oh, here come the destroyers. Gonna probably lay their... Yep, they're gonna fire their torpedoes at me. close. I do not want to be this close. Alright, let's pause again. Let's see where we're at. Man, if I could sink that Rodney. Uh, the Rodney class in the center there. Back to our cruise speed. We're getting low on ammo now. All right, we lost a lost a destroyer. And he's back to light damage on all three now. Must have repaired some of it. Zero percent. 8%, 6%. Yeah, same thing here. We're probably going to have to return to port before long. We're going to get low on ammo. Although he's got to be too. damage uh, I know there's got to be something I could be doing to get these destroyers in the action I don't know what it is I'd love to just get some of them to go up there and try to fire some torpedoes at these guys I don't like being this close that's for sure let's try to open things up Oh, maybe we 
can go. Where are my uh, guns? Here we go. Oh, we gotta get over that way to get over the Wilhelmshaven. And that means getting up real close to him, and I don't think I want to do that. Critical hit, router damage. Okay, that's bad. Rodney class is on fire. What a mess. What a mess. Fix that rudder, boys. Oh man, I'm gonna lose that one. That's what happened to the to the Bismarck. She got her rudder hit, and that was it. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to start sailing over to sailing. I keep saying that. I know they don't have sails. I'm going to start heading over toward my port. Because I'm getting low on ammo anyway. It doesn't appear he's going to follow. The rest of my boys are just going to kind of circle around out there. Yes, please. Poor Vittles box. She's just kind of aimlessly roaming around out there. Oh, we got a port up here we could have gone to. Yes to all. Let's see how bad this went. All right, so here's the situation. It actually ended up being a minor victory for me, and that's because we caused light damage to two of his battleships, medium damage to a third. I suffered light damage to two. Um, I lost a destroyer and one transport sunk, but I sank three of his destroyers uh, have, and medium damage on two more, uh, three more. So uh, all in all, considering uh, that I'm really kind of outgunned, uh, that actually was was all right a minor victory i'll take it so we had some ships uh well transports don't have ammo but um all right you know what i'm gonna wrap it up right there because i know there's a lot there that i can learn from uh so let me know your thoughts please and understand this is kind of my first real playthrough i've, I've played a little bit on my own but i found that i always learn so much more when i just play it and post the video and get feedback from all of you. So I expect 
that by the time you all get a chance to see this episode and I start getting your comments, I'm going to learn a lot about what I can do better, um, what I didn't do very well, uh, etc. So we're hanging in there with the British so far, but I definitely, definitely have a long way to go. So let me know your thoughts. And in a couple days, we'll come back with another episode. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please hit a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you again soon.